clock's ticking, Reddington. I'm talking to a dead man. So dramatic. This is the last season, so the entire construction of this season, right from the very first episode, has all been about a trajectory towards an ending. You were working for the fans, that you were hand-delivering our colleagues to them like cheese puffs on a silver platter. And then I was one of those puffs. Our relationship with Reddington has evolved so much over, you know, 200 plus episodes and cases. Things that are that obvious are often obvious for a reason. We're wasting time on a cut and dried case because of a Reddington hunch. And that's why everybody loves Reddington so much. It's that you, right when you think you can trust him, he pulls the carpet out from under you. I know you have questions, Harold, about jail breaks and Robert Vesco, hidden fortunes, fire away. Actually, no, I don't have any questions. At this point in our relationship, after 200 some odd blacklisters, I'm aware of your games, and nothing you do surprises me anymore. I think in a lot of ways, uh, Cooper and Red is, you know, the very uh, epitome of cop and robber. Raymond, for once, please listen to me. Stand down and stop it. I won't ask you again. Why am I always the bad guy? It's the necessary uh, opposite. It's that contrast, I think, that creates uh, Drama. Reddington believes that Bo Chang, A.K. the troll farmer, is in town as revenge for being taken by the FBI. There'll be no stone unturned. I play Sia Malik. She's not afraid of anything, really, and will put herself in dangerous situations, whether that means going undercover or uh, confronting some, some real evil. She will stand her ground and um, find the truth. It's time to swap this one down. We need to move fast. FBI, hands where we can see them. I remember when I read the pilot, and I said, I can see the next 10 years. And that's turned out to be true and not true, you know, and that's what made the series exciting for me to do. And you really don't know what you're looking at. It's surprising. There was a horrific shooting at the Sussex State Prison. I believe it to be the work of the postman, Lawrence Nelson. Nelson's helping a prisoner make a deadly toxin. If it were to get into a food or water supply, thousands could die. Put the prison on lockdown, now. On your knees! 